hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of watching me you're welcome for returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos i love you guys so much today i'm going to show you all how i was able to make this auto gilly and um this ashoka came in this form so i'm going to measure 22 inches as the width for the base gilly this measurement is for the base gilly so it's 22 inches as width the length is usually six inches so i'm just going to cut that out and i'm going to add three more pieces to this first piece that i've already cut out and i'll be using the same measurement 22 inches by six inches So I'm done cutting at this point, I'm just going to arrange everything and then take it to my machine and then stitch them together so they become one like this. And then after stitching, I'm going to also fold the edges of this ghillie like this, the width and the length by an inch. So I'm just quickly going to do that with my machine. So I did that off camera, once you're done doing it, you have 20 inches as the width you have 20 inches as the width and then 24 inches as the length so at this point I'm going to start making my pleats so I'm just going to fold the actual kit like this and I'll be securing it with pins so this is our base ghillie when you're making your pleats make sure that the pleats you're making are straight let them not have um, curvy lines let them just be straight it actually makes your work neater and it brings out the beauty of the work better So I'm done making my plates. I'm just quickly going to take this to the machine and then stitch everything so that everything stays in place. You can actually use a pressing iron to hold the, the plates down before you stitch with your machine. And then after stitching, I'm going to cut out two pieces of ashoke. One is going to be on the left hand side of the base ghillie and the other on the right hand side. So I'm quickly going to show you guys my measurement. But I arrived at this measurement after I folded the edges of the ashoke. So you need to create allowance for that. So the length for this is 1.9 inches and then the width is 7 inches. So this is my buckle. I'm just going to place that ashoke in between the buckle like this and then i'm going to place it on the base ghillie like this and then stitch i'm still going to bend it this way. i'm just going to fold it like this and then use needle and thread to stitch everything neatly so that everything stays in place This is the other piece of ashoke that will be on the other side of the base ghillie. So after folding the edges, I arrived at 6 inches as length and then the width 1 inch. So I'm going to pick up the base ghillie right now and then flip it over to the bad side like this. And then I'm going to place that piece of ashoke on top of the base ghillie like this. Let the two um, bad sides of the ashoke face each other. I hope that is understood. 
and then I'm just going to stitch. I'm going to cut out another piece of ashoke and I'll measure 29 inches as length. I had to fold the edges even before measuring. And then 28 inches as width. So after doing that, I'm going to fold the edges of the width like this and then place it on top the mannequin. And to also secure that, I'll be using pins. Just so that while I make pleats, everything does not unravel. While you make your pleats, make sure that you trace it to the other side of the ghillie. You don't want to lose any pleats at all. The pleats are the beauty of the ghillie itself, so 
you want to make sure that you don't lose any at all and what i'm doing basically is placing the pleats on top each other not behind each other they have to be on top each other so i'm just quickly going to make fan pleats at this point So while I get to the middle of the gele, I'll be shortening the pleats, I'll be making the pleats shorter. They won't be as long as how they were when I began. Once you're done making your pleats, you can use pins to hold the pleat down. It actually depends on how long your pins are. Or you can use needle and thread and just stitch everything so that everything stays intact. And I quickly did mine off camera, just the point where I am holding at. I'm still going to cut out another piece of ashoke and I'll measure 42 inches as the width I had to fold the edges first before even measuring and then for the length I measured 17.5 inches if you discover the length is what is folded and not the width so I'm just going to pick that piece of ashoke up and then I'll fold the width like this place it on top the on top the remaining pleats from the fan pleats and then I'll just secure that on the base gele using pin and then after doing that Since I had no one beside me to hold the plate down, I had to use needle and thread to stitch the middle of the plate so that everything stays in place while I also try to make more plates. So like I said before, what you're doing basically is making plates on top each other and not behind each other. So if you're making 10 plates, you should have 10 plates all the way to till the end and not seven pleats at the end so you want to make sure that you don't lose any plate at all
I had to stitch at this point because I didn't have anyone around to help me hold the pleats while I traced the pleats. So before the end of this video, I'll just remove that stitch right there and then continue. This is the remaining fabric from the fan pleats that we made. I'm just going to trace the pleats. In this tutorial, we are not going to waste any fabric at all. We're just going to make do with what we have. So I'm going to place it on top the round pleats and then trace the pleats like this. It was in the process of making this auto gilly that I came up with this style. So I really do not have any name at all for it right now. This is the point where we have to make good use of our needle and thread so we'll be hand stitching at every point so that everything stays intact and so that that style on top doesn't fall off.
and this also is the remaining hand of the ghillie from the round pleats that we made so i'm just basically repeating the same thing that i did from the hand of the fan pleats i'm just going to trace the pleats and then i'll try to replicate that style that i When making this auto ghillie, you have to be patient so that you can come out with the best result. The beauty is in the pleats, so you have to trace the pleats. I've been emphasizing on the pleats, pleats, pleats. It's important because like I said, it's the...
I'm also going to join them together so that they become one and so that it's firm and it doesn't fall off. And then for the remaining part of this fabric, I'm going to place it behind the style just right there and then stitch it. Away from the fan plates, I will measure 8.2 inches, but I had to add about 3 inches because I discovered that there was still excess um, fabric left on the fan plates. So I had to add about 3 inches, which made it 11.2 inches. So I'll just cut that part out. Away from the round plates, I'll measure 2.5 inches and then just cut that out. So at this point, I'm going to start the measurement also for the hook. This is what will enable me not the gilly at the back. So this is the hook right here. I'm going to cut out two ashoke with the same measurement. So for the length, I'll measure for the length, I'll measure eight inches while the width will be 3.9 inches you can as well make yours four so i'm just going to place it like this on the mannequin and then stitch i'm going to stitch it round like this so that when i flip it over this is what it's going to look like and then i'm also still going to stitch the edges of the fabric thank you guys so much for watching i do hope that this tutorial has been helpful if it has please don't forget to subscribe like share and also comment in the comment section if you've not turned on